Determine the resultant force and specify where x on the beam measured from A. So we have a distributed load here, and the sum of that load will act at a certain point. So to find that point, first we're going to add up the load. And we're going to break this into two loads, one being a rectangle and one being a triangle. So the rectangle acts at the centroid of that rectangle. And uh, that load would be the maximum load times the width. And that equals 1,200 pounds. The second one is on the triangle. And that load would be 1 half the base, 6 times the height, 150. And so that's equal to 450. And that is going to act at two-thirds the way from A. So two-thirds of six is four. And this one acts half, so that's four, plus six is ten. So now if we sum the moments about A, we get <coughs> 1,200 times ten plus 450 times 4. And that equals 1380, or 13,800. So moment equals the force times the distance. So if the total force here uh, equals 1200 plus 450, so that equals 1650. And the moment is 13800 and the force is 1650 and we're going to find the distance x for that total force acts on the beam. So x is equal to 1350 divided by 1650 or 13 13,800 divided by 1650, and that is at 8.36 feet.